Hi, this is Kanu Babu. This is part 6 of MVC Country State City Example. Before watching this video, you watch part 5. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. In the last class, we discussed something like an employee will enter the details like a e number underscore 1. And here I'll give the name as Jaydeep. And select the country India, state, city, location, development center. Now once when you click on create button, has to submit all these details in your database in database you have one table called employee right click on employee it top 200 rows to view the employee details and here you can see already some records are there e number one two three four so i want to insert employee number employee name department number designate id tech id development center id you observe this one and your table here when i select employee number i want to insert employee number name employee name i want to insert here you select the department you select department but insert what uh, department uh, number is it clear here you select what uh, where is the screen i think this is the screen yes you select the department name but insert what department number if you select the and insert the DZIG ID also as well as tech. So here whenever you try to click on submit button, this create button, the request is going to the server. Now control will accept the request and control will consider the request as uh, post method. As the if the request is going through URL or if the request is going to the server when user clicks on hyperlinks, then it is considered as get request. Whenever user clicks on submit button or create button, then the control will consider the request as post. So here what I will try to do, let us see, I will try to stop the debugging, here we already written the code for uh, get method to get the details and here I have uh, this is my get method. So I'll I will declare one more method, uh, the name of the method I will give as post method and this method will return view, return view of. Now here for this method I will try to pass form collection as input parameter. What are the input that you are uh, submitting in the form? These all values will be stored in form collection F. If you want you can check here. I will try to remove these breakpoints and just debug and check the output. In form collection each and every item can be identified by using index number. Always index number starts from 0. Or you can give by using the uh, column name also. Here I will just click on register. Moment. Here I am getting error because I have not uh, mentioned this as post attribute. So I will try to decorate this method with post attribute. Now debug and check the output. E number underscore 5. And here I will give some uh, Jaydeep. And it will give select country, I will select India, select state, select Telangana, select city, select Hyderabad, select location, select Gachiboli, select development center HDC1, select department technical, select designation SSC and here you can mention select technology, you can select some technology, just click on create. Now the request is going to the server, post method. Now here the values, whatever that you entered in the front end these all values are stored in form collection and here you can see and in each and every item can be identified by using index number so if you want to access the value f of 1 means employee number f of 2 e name f of uh, 3 means country id f of 5 city id f of 8 department number f of 9 designation generally drop down list if you are displaying the uh, uh, name but at the time of inserting you, you can insert what IDs. Now I'll try to create an object for my employee class, employee employee model. Employee E1 is equal to new employee of. I'll try to store the values in this model. Employee E1 is equal to new employee of. And I'll store the data that is available in form collection within this model. So here I'll try to write some code. E1 dot E number is equal to f of 1. E1 dot E name is equal to F of 2. E1 dot dev ID, D number, DZIG ID, tech ID, 
See here, as I already told you earlier, as we already discussed earlier that, let us assume this is your database. In database, the data will be stored in the form of what? Tables, which is collection of rows and columns. Now here we are working with entity framework. What entity framework will do? Entity framework will try to uh, interact with the database server and it will convert the table into what? Collection. It will convert the table into collection. Is it clear? The name of the collection here is employees. Is it clear? And the entity framework will convert the table into what? Class. And it will convert the column into what? Property you can tell. Property. And it will convert the row into what? Object. And it will convert the total data into what? Collection. Now if you want to insert the record in the table. Now my requirement is I want to insert the record in this collection. The name of the collection is EMPs. Let us assume. Now if you want to insert the record in this collection, first you create object for this class, which class model class, that is employee. And then store the values that are coming from the form that are available in F. Now these values I am storing in the model object and I am adding this object to the collection, obj.employees.add of e1. And then I will try to save the changes. What is the use of save changes? Uh, what are the modifications that you have done on collections? These modifications will directly affect the original database. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. Now here, let us see uh, how it is working. Just debug and check the output. Now just uh, click on register. And here in my database, if you observe, here I have only four records are there. E number underscore four. Now I'll try to insert one more value. E number underscore five. And here I'll give the name as Jaydeep. And here I'll select the country. Select country India and select state here I'll give Telangana select city I'll give Hyderabad select location I'll give Gachibowli select development center I'll give HDC1 select department technical select designation I'll give some designation SSC and here you can click on select technology I'll give .NET select click on create button here all the values are stored in form collection as I already showed you earlier is it clear? Keys. And here you can see. Base you can see all keys. Here you see. F of 1 means E number. F of 2 means E name. Is it clear? You can catch all the values here. F of 7 means development center ID. F of 8 means department number. F of 9 means disk ID. F of 10 means tech ID. Now we'll try to press F11, 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 F11. I successfully add the object to the collection. Now here you press F5 and go and check to your database. One record is inserted. That is E number underscore 5. I hope you understood. I will uh, place the code below this uh, in the comment box. You just check that one. With this we completed this example. For more videos you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Here you can see videos. And lot of videos are there. Try to share to your friends. Ne nearly 174 plus videos are there. All are related to .NET. Right. I will try to prepare some more videos on MVC in future. Thank you. Have a nice day.